let me quickly explain to all who's not familiar with sheep shearing, who's not familiar with the pattern. Start off with removing the belly wool. It's important to put that to the side. That does not go in with your fleece wool. When sheep lie down to sleep, wool on the belly gets matted and that's important to not put in with your fleece wool. Next up is the crutch. You're opening up the first leg, uh, removing the ox if the sheep has got wool on its ox. This particular sheep has got a long tail. It takes a few extra blows to remove the wool off the tail. But once you're done with the tail, you're going into the undermine. It's just a blow on the other side of the backbone, that one right there. Removing the top knot, that also does not go in with your fleece wool, that gets put to the side. You're opening up the neck wool, starting on the brisket, you go up the jaw, remove the wool off the cheek. Usually on the third blow up the neck, you go behind the head, clearing the wool between the ears. And then you drop into the first shoulder. You can see me turning the sheep towards the machine once I start on the first shoulder. That opens up the machine so you're not fighting your down tube when you're dropping into the long blow. A long blow takes only three or four blows. Then you're done there, turning to the last side, removing that a little bit on top of the ear and the wool off the cheek. Coming into the last shoulder now. Once you're done with the last shell, you're dropping into the last side of the sheep. It's also called the money side. Once you reach this stage, there's only about five blows left. Coming down to the last little bit of the leg, uh, removing the ox, if the sheep has them. That's one sheep done. As always, thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe to the channel.